Hi everybody, this is Michael Wiegand from AnalyticsReview.com. This is going to be the first and hopefully a long installment of uh, walkthroughs to show you how to implement plugins and um, you know, other kind of features with Google Analytics. In this particular episode we're going to talk about social plugins, uh, so I hope you like it. So today we're going to talk a little bit about integration with AdThis and Google Analytics. Um, just a little background information on this. A little while ago, earlier this year, Google announced that Track Social uh, was going to be a new method for the JavaScript, and it would essentially port data from things like the Facebook Like button, um, the Twitter Share, um, or the Twitter Tweet button, I should say, and automatically port that data and where it's occurring on your site into a, a nice little Google Analytics social engagement report. They said at the time that it was going to be a single line of code. It was going to be really easy to implement. Uh, but as we all know, when you dig into Google's uh, reference documents on <laughs> these types of things and couple that with the fact that you're, you're also relying on Facebook and Twitter's documentation of their own um, buttons that it becomes a little bit more convoluted than they originally made it out to be. But now they've kind of partnered with a couple social button platforms that will make it a lot easier um, to implement the stuff on the fly uh, because all of the light work is essentially done for you. I'm gonna, for our example purposes today, I'm gonna work with um, WordPress um, and implementing add this into WordPress. It also has integration with Blogger and any other blog platforms that you might be using um, you know, to install this pretty easily. So we'll take a look at you know, this particular plugin. Um, I'm in my dashboard for WordPress right here. Um, <clears throat> I've installed this plugin called Add This Social Bookmarking Widget. Um, you, know, you can find it by just doing a simple search for Add This um, and you know, just install it. So um, once you install this plugin, it creates a nice little tab on, on this side for you for you to open up the settings on it. And you get dumped out onto a page like this where you can choose the kind of social button options that you want to apply. Um, depending on your audience, this can be a really cool way to tailor how you display social interaction on your site. I went with the, the like button, tweet button, the plus one, and a generic share that has a um, bunch of different services located in there. I believe of all the options that you can select, you have to have the share button in there, so that's one of the drawbacks. Um, you know, but it's it's pretty streamlined the way they've done that. If you click on more options, there's a bunch of different ways you can display these buttons. Um, there's different services that you can leave out. So, for instance, if you just wanted the plus one button, um, you could select that and go with that. <clears throat> they also have build your own and um, and custom button so kind of options down here. You can specify the sizing, um, and there's a list of neat little service codes um, that you can look at. And just to give you an idea of the services they offer and the buttons that you can install, they have stumble upon, uh, Facebook like, um, and it's you know in a lot of cases it's just a matter of um, having to plug those in to um, this little field right here, and then you can have stumble, stumble upon, whichever buttons you want to show up will show up. Um, <clears throat> I chose to, to not show anything below the post, um, so it'll display all my buttons above it. There's also some advanced options, and this is where you get into the real integration piece of it. So they ask for only one piece of Google Analytics information, and that is your UA profile number. Um, if you're unsure where to find that, um, typically when you're logged in, you can you click on this side tab right here, look at Analytics Review, and it will display that um, right up here, your, your UA number. Um, alternatively, if you clicked on the Settings button, it shows it on your web property ID. Plug that property ID in there, um, and you're literally good to go from that point. You could just hit save changes and you'd be good. Um, you could start tracking folks into your GA reports. Um, I selected a couple different options, um, you know, clickbacks, um, 
to show it on the home page and then you can choose where it displays to so if you have category pages that you want it to show on um, in your blog we, you can definitely set that up as well they've got a couple little extras in here that are really nice first is a Twitter tweet template um, so when you hit the tweet button you'll see this common you know, format of where it takes the title and URL from your WordPress post um, and then you can display you know that it's from your account um, you know so whenever anybody shares this on Twitter um, you know, it'll kind of utilize your common template so it's easy for you to find um, also they have if you use any URL shorteners in this case bitly um, you can also plug in your account information from that and be able to track all of the shortened links that come out of Twitter um, through this plugin so that's really cool too so kind of just to dial it up and show you how it looks once you install it um, again it's pretty straightforward and these are all the different uh, bookmark services that you can use as part of the add this share button which is kind of nice but from the moment you plug in your Google Analytics property ID um, it'll start reading information into GA so we look at the social engagement report it started recording likes for me you know the day that I installed it just back on the 31st um, <clears throat> another neat little piece about it is it will show you the um, specific like button uh, that's pressed on a particular page of your site uh, so you can kind of associate interaction with um, pages on your site different pieces of content the last piece is that add this themselves have their own analytics tool that you can associate with this um, if you go back to the plugin real quick here and click on the basic options once you set up an account with them um, they issue you a, an ID number um, as well as a username and password obviously and you know you plug those into the uh, plugin and then it will set up your own reporting that just tracks social interaction um, show the content on your site the different services that are used and the percentage of usage that they get and then also you can associate your, your Facebook page with it your Twitter account with it um, and get you know a list of recent tweets that mention your domain um, as well so it's it's kind of a nice little functionality um, and I highly recommend this method as opposed to you know trying to finagle the code and get it to work with Facebook and Twitter yourself uh, this is much much easier in terms of getting this installed on WordPress um, so go ahead and go for it uh, and cheers <laughs>